Flying right into the Brab Squad. I'm flying right into the Brab Squad. Thanks, Singing Land Shark. It's Bob Squad, how the hell are you? How's tricks? How's the kids? Some weather? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm not. I have a need. A need for speed. Okay, enough. Thank you very much, Singing Land Shark. What are we doing today? Normally, we're talking about He Man. Normally, we're talking about the Transformers. Normally, we're talking about G.I. Joe. But you know what? We're doing something a little bit different. We are talking about Matchbox Top Gun. Whoa, what is this here for? This is pandemonium. This is anarchy. This is chaos. This is nonsense. This is tomfoolery. Chicanery. We're being hoodwinked, flimflam, shimshammed, and bamboozled. And at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, there's nothing left to say or do. It comes with a handle for the stock boy, a stock person, excuse me. Um, why do I have this? Okie dokie. In the Sunbob G.I. Joe universe, um, I'm clearly never going to get, nor do I have a desire for the USS flag. It is absurd. Um, even if money were not an issue, and it's totally an issue. Uh, space is, is a very difficult issue with me as well. As you can see, this place gets less and less organized every time I do one of these. And that's becoming a problem. So no extra seven feet uh, aircraft carriers are coming into this place. However... I thought it would be fun for the, the Sun Bob G.I. Joe universe to at least have a representation of it, and we can play with it and have fun, and uh, just suggest that it's there in that world. And I've been looking around for a long time for uh, small little die-cast models or whatever, and this was the smallest and best option, uh, price-wise and space-wise. So I finally pulled the trigger and ordered this thing, not thinking it was going to come so soon around the holidays, but it did, which is very nice. Uh, as you can see, there's spaces to hold uh, your extra planes. I have an extra plane. I was going to have Sky Strikers. You'll notice there's no Sky Strikers in, in my movies. You're not going to see, you're still not going to see a G.I. Joe getting in and out of one and taking off. That won't be happening, so don't get hell-bent on that. And it was made in China. Made in China. Okay. It's got missiles that are firing off and some storage. Storage is good. And um, generally, I mean... It's shaped like aircraft carriers, and it's shaped like the flag. There's no 99. I'm not painting a 99 on it. So let's get that out of our heads. But um, I was going to wait, but because it's not a G.I. Joe or Transformers thing, um, I'm just curious. I want to take this thing out. So we will do that right now. All righty, Bob Squad. How bad did I screw up? I will tell you. I recorded three fun chunks of me actively reviewing this thing, and there was some kind of uh, coding glitch where, for whatever reason, these three random videos, the middle of the five different big clips I made for this, just won't flat out convert to anything other than audio, and that's kind of worthless. And I did all these fun things, and now I forgot what they are. So, I'm going to show you this. I put stickers on it. And uh, these two planes are identical. One of them I bought separately. One of them came with the uh, the set here. Uh, I'll take a look at the planes real quick. So, um, uh, nothing right home about. Looks exactly the same as the last one I got. Landing gear is identical and all that good stuff. Uh, they might even be a little bit big for the scale, but here is what I did. I had filmed an entire clip and not realized that there is more toy like it. It comes out, it comes out here, you see, so it's actually like, oh god, was it 20 inches long? And, um, how awesome that it get just a little bit more flag, so in hindsight, the, uh, it adds just a little bit more to the scale. I'm sure someone's going to point out, well, no one's going to point out that uh, the planes are still too big or the aircraft carrier is too small for the correct scale, but whatever, it looks like a big aircraft carrier. Everything's generally in the same place where it would be, and for a few seconds uh, on video, this will make a great flag. Um, this came with so many more features than I thought it was going to. Uh, this is simple but effective. Check this out right here. It's just something so simple for me. It's storage. It is... Uh, 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 hang on. Well, it was storage. I was just getting a text while I was filming this on my phone. Yeah. 
Well, there's a big hole in the back there. So I had originally suggested this thing would could probably float and it could if not for this big hole and that's where the elevator is. So no, it can't float because it would fill up with water instantly. And so that's gonna be the end of that. Oh, there's two holes here, how about that? So I can put stuff in there, like the planes that keep falling off. Oops, don't watch out for that here. Okay, and there is a lever right here to, to lock this thing. So if I hit it there, now it's sturdy. Okay, it's got a little shake, but it's sturdy there. So I'm gonna tighten this guy back up. And this will be great because space is a problem, and that's another reason I, I hesitated. Uh, I'm pulling the trigger with this, but I'm so glad I did. Came with a few stickers. There's some Top Gun stickers, which I might have thrown away. I didn't, now I'm becoming certain, and I was hoping I didn't miss one for the, the front here. Pretty sure I didn't, but uh, who knows. And It looks like something should be there in this front building, but nothing is. Uh, so we're going to have to use our imaginations. This is the only... Uh, extra delicate part. It doesn't affect me much, but I can't see a kid playing with this because this thing falls off like really, it doesn't really clip an air all so well. Nothing too crazy going on here. Um, there's some stickers. You can see the silhouette of a giant man apparently. And there's a little radar and a thing that twists around. Some satellite dish so they can watch pornographic films, I guess. I don't know what that is for. Unless I'm not clipping it in good, but or clipping it in well, excuse me. But I'm pretty sure I got it in. You know? Eh? Eh? Well, let's move around just a little bit here. Okay, well that happened. Oh! No way! I didn't even plan that. Okay, so apparently I had the foresight to put the stickers and the instructions in here because I had to get rid of the box. It was too much. And there is... Nothing that would go on a front. I was right. But still, I needed to know. I needed to know, damn it. This elevator right here. Um, no locking mechanisms or anything. It just kind of goes up and you just shove it and it goes down. I'm hoping that stays up for some substantial period of time. There's the instructions. Um, so there, there you go, right there. So here... Burp, burp. Come on, come on. This is hard to do with one hand, but it stays up just well enough. Again, for my purposes, it's perfectly fine. And what else is going on? So they have these missiles here too, and it's nice it gave me a little bit of defense because the USS flag had a, a hell of a lot more guns than this, but it gives me a little something where I could say, hey, it's look, it's 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 battle-ish. So. You just, there's a lever here for this missile, a lever here for this missile, a little orange button there, as you see. A little button, excuse me, and an arrow. Oh, look out, Bob Squad, it's coming at you. It is coming at you, Bob Squad. Oh, no. Okay. Well, there's one of these. And these plug in. Um, you gotta do a little, do the shape there. Where's the other one? I like to pick up my missiles right away. I don't like to leave them lying around. Um, so happy with this purchase. Again, that, don't pick it up by the elevator, but whatever. I needed the Sunbob universe, um, to have a flag or something that represents it, obviously. Clearly, we're not going to see any G.I. Joes getting in and out of this thing. I may have repeated some of these points already, uh, but it's been a few days between takes, and this is the much less funny one. Uh, hold on one second. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Now, uh, one of the OG Bob Squad members, Boba Hicks, uh, made this suggestion to me, and I wanted to show him. He mentioned that the G.I. Joe Jada diecast would look great on this thing, and I agree. So, uh, I love them. Absolutely love them. You park them here, maybe put them there, suggesting that they go underneath the hole, the hole or whatever the hell. Um, again, this thing... Uh, it's about eight, eight and a half inches from wide, I guess, and 20 inches I measured when it's fully extended. And phew, I can only dream. Alrighty. Uh, I want to be single, that's for sure. Uh, so let's try some other vehicles uh, on it. Here you see, this is a Jada uh, Starscream from the 
that little pack they have with Prime, Bumblebee, and uh, Starscream. Now, in theory, if I were to take him off, so that looks great too because that shows you just the, the girth, the mass um, of the aircraft carrier it makes it look even even more huge to have Starscream on there. As a matter of fact, I think it would be wonderful if the first time we see Starscream in a Sunbob video, um, I'd have to put him alone on this thing because then he'd look preposterous next to one of those. But yeah, if he just had one of these by himself, um, why is he the only plane on there? I don't know. But still, really, really cool. Uh, and these help. These are really, really helpful. And I need a place to put... Let's try some other vehicles. Thunder Tank. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Um, what about some Cobra pilots here? Let's do the... Let's do the Fang. Yeah, um... If you blink, you'll miss it, but there is a little bit of a scaling issue with the Retro Fang. Let's try most of the... Lego knockoff thing, and um, yeah, they tend to fall apart. And Cobra Commander would be about 25 feet tall back there. Okay, that looks better. And last but not least, well, there you go. It ain't a fun boxing without the Sing and Land Shark. I wanted to give you a more complete look at this whole thing. And uh, again, the fact that this like five inch chunk goes in and out is gonna be very helpful because I have no idea if or how, I'm e if I'm even displaying this thing, I don't know the answer. Um, but I need some storage and I think it'll be fun to have a flag in the Sunbob world uh, just, to, just to make it exist. And I, I don't hate the concept of the US flag, um, not blowing two grand and ruining my life by putting this in my small apartment it's just, and it never really appealed to me. It's a big space. <laughs> to me, the structure and the stuff and the guys going up and down and running around and having that railing they have and a control room, the bark orders and stuff, and those those hatches, those hatch doorways they have are much more interesting than the big flat thing, but you need the big flat thing for the planes to take off. So, um, yeah, this, uh, for my purposes, this is 100% perfect. And uh, nitpick is that the elevators, the elevator will fall down if you breathe on it, but it's doing a fine job of keeping the plane up there. And the plane actually wouldn't be on the elevator anyway, but you know what I'm saying. So, I'm not too worried about it at all. Uh, what about Godzilla? Hang on, don't go anywhere. Up oh, squad. And let's see what's going on. Ah, oh, it's Rodan! It's Rodan! Nah, it's just a toy. It's, it's a toy Rodan. It's not an actual monster pterodactyl. But, um, there he is. Oh, I love the green on the back. How nice is he? And dun 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 Okay, are we done? I think so, Bob. I think we jumped the shark. Did somebody say shark? Yes, yes, somebody did say shark. You've lost that love and fear and whoa, that love and fear and you've lost that love and fear and now it's gone, Bob Squad.